Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to see another video using simple discount product adjustment, but the scenario is going to be different. So today we're going to have a discount for specific products. Mm, what else can we do? Yeah. And then we're going to give a fixed price for each product and then have an additional condition where this discount gets applied only on customer using a coupon. Okay. Coupons. Okay. So what is the usual thing we do is WooCommerce, we discount rules and then add new rule. Click on add new rule and you can see a text box to give a title for your rule. So give a title, mm -hmm. product. Okay, now it's time to choose a discount type. You don't have to worry about the title. It's just for your understanding. So forgive me, my titles are worse. Okay, choose a discount type. And we're going to choose simple discount product adjustment. Now it's the filter section. Today we're going to give discount for specific products. So it's time to change to products. Click on products and then you can enlist them. Here you get an option to choose a single item or number of items based on your requirement. So I'm going to give uh, lipstick and what could be the other product foundation. Okay, super. So now it's time to choose the discount value. So Today, we're going to give fixed price for each item, both lipstick and foundation. So we're going to click on fixed price per item. And my value is going to be 100 rupees. Super. Now it's time to add the condition. Our condition today is coupon. Coupons. Everybody loves coupons. Okay. Add condition and then go to coupons. Okay. I'm going to tell you something very interesting. So in the coupon section, you get to choose two different coupons. One is the coupon that you've already created using WooCommerce, you know, the WooCommerce coupons. Or simply, if you don't want all that, then you can create your own coupon here, right here, which is a zero value coupon, but still you can make use of them. So let me show you that. So here is an option which says apply if any one coupon is applied, which is from WooCommerce, select from WooCommerce. But today we don't want a coupon from there. So we're going to create our own new coupon. Super. So my coupon name is going to be Go Sassy. Okay, uh, whatever you want, basically. Okay. So this doesn't have a value, but you can see once you have given this, when the customer enters the coupon code, you know, the name, that's only when the discount gets applied. Otherwise, it simply doesn't happen. So let's see that. Maybe when we visit the store, you'll be able to understand. So let's save and close and then go to our store and check it out. I love the checking out part because it gives you excitement. Okay. So... There's lipstick and foundation. My items are already in the cart. You can see there's no discount applied because we didn't add a coupon code. It's time to add it. My coupon name is Go Sassy. Yeah, I love the name. Okay, so we're going to apply this coupon. Ta-da! Did you see that? Yes. So once the customer entered the coupon, you can see the discount has been applied successfully. This is how we create, you know, coupon conditions and using specific products and a fixed price for each of the product. Super. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.